Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Misha Lee and I love everything planning. Today we'll be planning for the week of the 24th to the 31st in my Filofax on the go planner. So if you want to see how I decorated this beautiful floral spread, stick around. <music> Yes, guys. So again, welcome back to my channel. We are catching up, guys. We are catching up. This is the final video I have that was filmed in June, July, not June, July. So we are catching up. So I'm hoping to release a new video every day this week so that we will be finally caught up by next week. So I hope I get it done. <laughs> So guys, I am planning in my file facts on the go planner. So for my new subscribers, this is the planner that I take out of the home with me when I am traveling, when I'm going to work and so on. So there's not much information that goes in here, but just the information that I need to get done when I am outside of the home. Okay. So that is the purpose of this planner. But I may be switching things up very soon. So you would want to stay tuned for that video. I most definitely will be switching things up soon. So um, stay tuned to see what I have in store or what I am going to do. As usual, you know, we have to white off some of the writing that may show under the stickers. And that's the main reason why I white off writing so that it will not show under stickers. Even sometimes when I lay stickers over the writing, sometimes it still shows through and I don't want it to show through. So the purpose of whiting off is really so that it will not show under any sticker that I put down. So what I planned to do this week, you would realize that I did not white off the month sticker because it's going to cover it. But you would see later on that I did white it off because even though I covered it with a sticker, it was still showing through the sticker, which I didn't want. Okay. So I'm just going through my sticker book looking for stickers that I want to use and I decided to use that kind of header sticker that says do what you love. Now the sticker book that I was using for this spread was the choose happy mini sticker book from the happy planner. I think I showed it at the beginning of the video. So that's the sticker book I was using and I was just going for a purple theme somehow purple is just hitting the spot for me these days so I was going for a purple theme and so you will see all the stickers really surrounding that purple theme and I chose all this beautiful kind of polka dot header sticker but what I wanted I wanted it on the same um, on the two pages and so what I decided to do was basically cut it in half so that I can border the bottom of the spread with the same pattern paper. I hope I explained that well. So that's why you see me lining up the two papers so that I could get it as even as possible. So it looks like one straight line across the bottom of the paper and I will just cut off any excess that I have. And so this is what I'm talking about. I was seeing under the paper. So you would have seen me whiting it off. And, but also I decided to shift um, that sticker to the edge of the page. And so that's what I did. But I kind of ruined the foil a bit. So that made me a bit sad. But 
see what it's just a sticker right So now I'm just looking to decorate the spread and I remember there were florals to the beginning so you would see me comparing the two and I went for the more pastel -y or lightly colored um, florals. The one more to the front of the book was a little more vibrant and so I didn't want that. So you would see me just decorating the bottom and the top of the spread with the florals and I just loved this mix of colors. This has been one of my favorite planner decorations that I did in a while. I really really loved how this spread turned out. So now that I was finished decorating the spread really, I was now putting down my month sticker and I'm going to put down my day stickers as well as my date stickers. So that's what you're going to see me doing now. Now these were stickers that I made literally years ago. I don't even know how many years ago <laughs> and I still had them and so so you would have seen me pull out some stickers before and I remembered that I had these stickers and I want to use up my stash I want to use up these stickers that I've had a long time and so that's why you saw me disappear for a minute because I went to get those stickers so that I can use them up so little fun fact there And so I had to mark off my weekly meetings that take place on Wednesday and usually on Saturday but this weekend this week it was a special meeting so it was taking place on the Sunday so I just had to mark that off so I would make sure and be there for those meetings. And so guys, this week was particularly hard for me because I was doing so many things and I am still doing so many things trying to transition um, the business and I was being, I was getting a bit frustrated because it seems like things were taking longer than usual. There were always delays. They were, you know, it just seemed like nothing could go right. And so when I saw that 
just two word freeze, you know, small victories. I was just like, okay, Misha, yes. This is what you have to keep in mind for the week going forward that I need to just celebrate the small wins, the small victories and just take the rest as it comes. And so I found that was so appropriate. And so that's why I just stuck that under there to remind myself of that. And I don't usually use weekend banners on my planner spreads, but I found these were so petite and not very um, intrusive. And so I think it just went perfectly with um with this spread so i loved that i love that i used the banner So I had to pull out another sticker book to get some um, functional boxes. Um, I wanted purple boxes because I wanted the main color to continue to be purple. And I think I used the pressed florals um, sticker book. I'm not sure about that, but I think I used the pressed florals. And so you would see me now putting down some functional boxes and a little bit of deco to mark off what I have to get done throughout the week. And so I chose to put the, that kind of bronzish rose gold heart to kind of balance off the pages since I had a rose gold print on one side I wanted to bring a little bit of rose gold onto the other side so it will be a bit balanced and so that's why I used that heart. To also mark off some of the things I may have to do, I am putting down some colorful dots that match with the spread. I'm going with the more purple and the teal kind of look. I'm putting down those dots so if I need to write in anything that I have to do, there's already space provided for that. So here I am, I'm just neatening up the spread a bit, punching holes where I need to repunch some holes. And that is the end of this plan with me. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you enjoy this content and want to see more videos just like this from me, I'm positive that you will not be disappointed. Guys, the gold foil on my previous spread was lifting, so you know, I just had to fix that before I moved on. I would not have been able to sleep well at night if I didn't fix it. So, <laughs> so that's a look at the final spread, guys. And that was the inspiration for my spread. It was a pen that I got in a recent stationery box I bought, and I just loved the color so much that I decided I wanted to do a purple spread. So tell me what you think. Did I execute it well enough? Tell me in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.